Hello and welcome to episode 44 of our Ostrich Alpha 4.7 Let's Play. It is October of 1794. 2,091 people in our town. Last we left off, we had five houses queued up for building. And a couple of different locations. Mostly over here and over here as we look to build up this area. And we're just going to keep on keeping on here build as much as we can in today's episode and see just how much more we can accomplish. I know I mentioned we're going to put another farm up here at some point. Probably not in this episode, but we will be working our way up to this corner of the map and figuring out exactly what else we want to do. Because right now, in terms of resource supply, it looks like we're doing pretty well. We have a ton of orchard products. We have apples, apricots, and all sorts of good stuff just absolutely everywhere so i don't think we really have to worry about that for right now in terms of our farm stuff we're producing a pretty good amount of everything uh oh why are oxen dying of thirst okay that needs to stop immediately oh, okay that's because there's a ton of flax there's a ton of flax in the farm and uh nowhere to put it so i think that is probably going to be an easy hmm easy problem to solve here. So let's go ahead and do resource by wagon. Let's move 5,000 flax out of there into here. I think these wagons are mostly mostly out doing stuff. So maybe we should instead So I know they're, they're trying to bring water in but they can't. Maybe we should instead try to move resources by cart. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to gonna have to do that. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and move four thousand by cart over to that same one again, just because I think we're gonna be more likely to get a quick response out of the cart people than the wagon people. Although uh, I suspect now we're gonna have all of these oxen die as well. So I guess that's a fun thing we get to take care of today's episode. So we will uh, we'll leave them to that. We know something is going to end up happening there. This area up here we haven't really done anything with for a really, really long time. I'm trying to remember exactly where the entrance to the map is. Okay, it's right there. So we could and probably should keep building up here and uh, continue having maybe some more uh, reforestation areas and some other houses here. We just have to be mindful of the location of our market right here. We'll get that taken care of at some point. I think they still haven't gotten to uh, moving all that stuff yet. Okay, yeah, the oxen are just continuing to die, but uh, you know what can you do? We'll, uh, we'll have to fix that later. We have plenty of cows left, don't worry. All right, so we have another house complete. Which one was that? This one? Okay. Cool. So these guys are already lagging again. So that's the part of the fun of having a game so... Uh... What do you mean taverns aren't functioning? I should have functioning taverns. Is it because I'm out of a... Uh... Am I out of the alcohol? Okay, where's our nearest tavern? No. That's just a big house. How did I already forget where stuff is? Jeez. All right, they... Oh, okay. They got garlic, Harilka, and uh, all that. Okay. Well, I guess. I guess we need to get some uh, some alcohols. They're drinking us dry here. And they still haven't gotten all that out of there. All right. So I'm guessing these other two are also going to die because this isn't quite empty enough. Yep. All right. Well, that's really annoying because I guarantee that water is going to show up as soon as this other one dies. That's always how it works, right? Yep. Well, We'll just have to try and fix that some other way. I just keep selling most of the stuff, honestly. 
All right, so now we have, okay, we've got three, four, five. And that's as many as we can safely do there. So let's go ahead and do Let's just keep relocating them. Alright, so that should be all of those taken care of. Then we'll go over to this one. And we'll do the exact same thing to get to six. Now they actually have, you know, water. So I think building of more warehouses is going to be in order very quickly here. So, so we've got a construction office here, we've got warehouses here, we've got a carpentry here. We need somewhere to put a whole bunch of warehouses. My copy-paste doesn't seem to be working. There we go. Maybe I'm going to take this off at 12 times speed. So I'm really tempted to just, you know, put uh, more warehouses here, except that's kind of ugly. But it is pretty... Uh, convenient from a utilitarian standpoint here. I think just for the uh, purposes of making sure these farms don't completely collapse, it makes sense to do that. So we'll put those two there. We'll actually put them in front of the houses and we'll uh, let them get started on that. And then this will just probably honestly be entirely flax. We're going to be truthful with ourselves here just because we make so much of it. We're not making a ton of clothing. That's part of the reason why I don't really want to build another farm too quickly. Because, honestly, we're generating more than enough food for now. But we will need more eventually. Just in terms of resources, we have tons. We have absolutely tons of stuff. I guess we could stand to have some more potatoes. That's potatoes and buckwheat, maybe. <laughs> That's about it. So we'll let them uh, get to that. But we're going to get here, but we have to build to there, if that makes sense. So we're going to keep on building up in this area. I can put maybe a couple more houses here, but eventually this area is going to have to get connected to something. So I think an easy way to do that is to build another house here and end up doing some sort of either squish two houses in here or just do a uh, one of these numbers here. Just get this a little bit, a little bit closer. Like so. I think that'll do quite nicely. That'll match up there. And I might actually close this off with another section of fence depending on how it's looking with our other house stuff, because I could just put another house on the back side of this. And honestly, that's probably the best thing to do. And I might actually... Might actually do that. Unless I can get this to... Oh, that's going to be nice if I can get that to work. That is pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy. So we'll do that. Then I can come in here with another one. Do more or less the same thing. Well, these uh, this is are going to start getting too long. So we will cross that bridge when we get to it. I think. I think for now, this could get a little longer. And then that's going to be nice. We'll do that. And then we'll have one more house here. And actually blend it into this end of the fence. Okay, why are these people moving out? Is it firewood? I thought I solved that problem. That should, shouldn't really be that much of an issue unless these people are too far away from the market. But the market's right here, so that really shouldn't be, and this should not be a problem. Why are the stalls selling firewood in here? There's only one selling firewood? Alright, I think I know what the problem is. They need another... Another firewood purchasing stall somewhere over here. I always click on the government one whenever I'm trying to build 
firewood stalls. I don't understand it. But I think... So I don't want to build it there. Oh, I guess really the only great spot to put it would have been right here, but there's a well there. Somebody was uh, really dumb on their positioning of stuff. Man, this game's lagging hardcore. Another reminder to uh, save your game, kids. Never know. So I think if if this keeps happening with families moving out, then we probably will have to do something about it. But honestly, I don't see a reason why that should happen. So we'll just hope that's a one-off thing. Come on over here to our new warehouses. And another thing I wish, I wish they could do is copy the list of stuff like the granaries do. So... Maybe something for the future. We'll just go ahead and do a flax 10k in all of these. So they should actually take out of this one. Over here and just assign all of those. Man, we have a lot of <laughs> we have a lot of these things. All right, so we've got two more houses added here. Let's go ahead and put in our next one. By next one, I mean last one for this section of the town, at least. I think, I think this is going to be the ticket right here. It's a little ugly, but uh, you know what? Don't care. I think that's going to be nice, and that'll allow us to get rid of this fence. Because this whole side will be continuous right there. And that also leaves us an open area here, thanks to this cart parking, that we can maybe do something else with when we uh, get to that point. But we'll go ahead and let them do their thing here. And we're going to... Oh, okay, I think we can actually place the last house in here. Okay, I need to copy that. So this section of the uh, thing over here was previously blocked by a stack of wood, of all things. So we have six more houses in, uh, in the queue here. Let them take care of that. We're not going to do a time lapse just yet because stuff is so moved around in other spots. Let's take a look at our reforestation areas. I know the ones up here are doing pretty well. I think this one... Okay, they're still planting. As soon as they're done planting, I'm going to enable chopping of trees in one of these. And then I think it's going to be time for us to start building more over here as well. I kind of like having these uh, forestries here. They are taking up a little too much space. Can't really move them without being a, a whole ordeal, though, so... Jeez, there's a lot of flax in here. They are slowly, slowly taking care of it. They have all of their oxen here. How's our salt works doing? I think I fixed this last time. Yeah, we're doing okay. Now, now we're out of burial plots again. Boy, that's a fun thing to fix. So this area here, I think is going to have to be more of these. Wow, look at these people. Wow. So you're, you're telling me, 25 years ago you had a kid, two years later you had another kid, and then you waited 17 years to have another kid. What happened in those 17 years? <laughs> you just kept making more kids, alright, well, whatever, this is probably the biggest family tree I've seen in Ostrov to date on a single house. You got 11 different people represented here. That's pretty cool. So we're going to keep on keeping on and we're going to expand this area with some more houses. So I think the easiest thing to do is going to be to make another set of six right here. I shouldn't say easiest to do like it's a badge of honor or anything. It's just we're trying to be efficiently growing and putting ourselves in a position to uh... actually we're going to make that one a little smaller. Trying to be efficiently growing and put ourselves in a position to have an interesting town that's not 
too over designed. I think I can get away with doing this. It'd still be okay. Looks like it. We've got four there. We'll just add some on the back side. Just gradually try to squeeze these in here. Make the one on the end not quite so small. I just have to play a little bit more with how stuff lines up. And plus that adds a little bit of interest to the design of this little area here. So that's another eight houses. That'll be nice when that's all done. What other opportunities do we have? Because this, this is a big queue of houses. So I put a long, oh man, this would have been, I don't know, 20, 30 episodes ago, I would have put all these cottonwood trees in here. And I guess I envisioned this was going to be some sort of like main route, and then I just built <laughs> more houses on the end of it. So that's uh, clearly not gone completely according to plan. These houses over here don't have any, any streetscape in the middle of them. So maybe we could add something like that. I know this one doesn't as well. These are all cottonwood trees on one side. Either Kachi's here. Do they have any, any alcohol for us? No, they don't. We have plenty. Oh, wow. We got plenty of that. Got plenty of iron. Or we have regular iron. Plenty of leather. Lime. We'll go ahead and get some lime. We'll sell some shoes. Sell some charcoal. Sell some sunflower oil. Sell some clothing. And apples we can sell. So we're going to sell apples. How about them apples? <laughs> Bad joke. I know. So while we're waiting for them to build these houses, actually, it's, it's fun to watch. So we'll do a little bit of that. But I think it's about time for some beautification of some areas of the map. So we will go ahead and undertake that in just a moment. It's always fun to watch those. Let them do their thing. So this part of town over here that I mentioned is begging for some trees. So I think these... uh. What are these spruce they call it? yeah they call them spruce trees in this game i think those look nice but they're probably going to be limited to this area over here because these uh little streets i think just always look so nice with the birch trees so i think that's what we're going to end up doing just putting in some birch trees just put a bunch of these in different spots here. We'll do both sides of the street in just a minute here. Let's add a little bit of interest here because these are so bland and it's been a very long time since we've been any love to this part of our little town here. I think I can fit one more. Yes. This street is, I guess, kind of narrow for me to be doing this, but mm. okay, that was almost almost going to fit there. So instead we'll just keep adding right here. That's not quite going to be enough, so we'll give that a little bit more space. Coming on this side, I know in real life there's almost no way they actually designed their streets like this. Mmm. Mm, that's close. But no cigar. That's fine. And the hat has a little well there. I'll put another one right here. Too close to another tree. Where's the other tree? Oh, they already planted it right there. Okay, well, you know what? That's going to be fine for that little uh, little part of town right there. So I guess now we can come over here and do a similar thing on this street. Oh, there's a little bench here, so that's actually nice scenery additions. That gives people some place to sit in the shade and do some people watching. 
It's always a fun hobby. When I was in college, I would go uh, sit on the benches in the uh, city that my university was in. I just watch people while I'm eating my lunch. I learn a lot just by observing. We'll go check out those houses in a minute here. But first, I want to make sure we get all these trees popped in here. I did it again. Man. That's frustrating. Okay, so we have uh, those added in. We'll do some more up here, but let's go check out. Yeah, okay, so this is a little, a little strange looking. But I think it's fine. We do need to go ahead and continue putting these cottonwood trees in. Like we have in all these other spots along this fence. So just as closely as they will allow. Once these grow up nice and tall, they will be a neat little visual barrier like we've seen in many other spots in our town. Just hope I put my entrance to this plot in a good spot so it doesn't mm, okay let's just space that out just a tiny bit more I think that'll be fine I might actually end up chopping that tree down coming back and doing it again but if it's ugly then we can always fix it yeah, they, this is the riveting, riveting ostrich content you want is me trying to place trees as closely together as possible. That's exactly where you're here. Alright, put that one there, and then we are going to stop right at the corner here. Should be one more right here. Okay, so that's going to be nice. There'll be a very long line of these cottonwood trees. It's not perfectly straight. But it's close enough, you know. Not crazy about this right here. I might actually put a... might actually put a fence right here. Stop people from uh, going back and forth. And then I could... Uh, I could actually put a little... Uh, gazebo's not going to fit in there, is it? Not quite. What if I did the small one? Yeah, that might actually work. kind of like that, actually. Yeah, I'll we'll just put that there. I guess I could have turned it around and had the uh, entrance going on that side. You know what? I think I actually like that better. We'll do that. That is exactly what we will do. Let's place this close enough here. I like that a lot better. So we'll just pop the fence there. And then that way people will be able to enjoy that. And it'll be kind of kind of out of the way. And then we can fill this area right here with just some bushes. If I can get them to click properly. Because the bushes don't care about collision mesh. So they will just kind of go wherever. I do hope we get more types of bushes in Alpha 5. I imagine we probably will. So we'll just get this all filled up here. Just one more. Two more. I lied. Okay. So that's going to be a pretty big improvement, I think. And we still have plenty of uh, house construction still to see. And they're building over here now, which is good to see. Mm. Trees are... seem to be all planted. I don't know if we really have enough room on this one to do two layers of trees. We might. Okay, we didn't do an arch on this one, so why don't we go ahead... This one's not going to fit, is it? No, I'll have to go for the smaller one. Okay, I like that. This 
Perspective always screws me up here. Pop that right there. Okay, that's the wrong fence. I forgot we have different fences now. There we go. So that is a little bit of an improvement on that end. I don't know. I kind of don't want to put any trees here just yet. We'll, we'll get there eventually. How are we doing over here on our... Very good. Flax is full up in there. Wow. Good God, that's a lot of flax. Well, that's interesting. Let's go ahead and save again. Then let's kick this thing into 12 times speed. Try and get a couple more of these buildings knocked out while we uh, take care of a couple mother things. A couple mother... Wow. I'm tired. It's low in o'clock at night. I <laughs> just wanted to make sure I got a video out. Because it had been about a week. Yeah, lots to, uh, lots to be happy about here growing this area. I think we can complement that with some more houses over here. So why don't we do that? And do opening onto that side. Try to do another. I think I can get this to, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, so there's four there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make these two in the middle a bit bigger. Deeper lots, I guess you could say. I think this is where my curved monitor is going to betray me a little bit here. As I sit, I have, I have this weird seating position where I'm like not facing directly at the monitor. It's kind of off-center, tilted to the side some way because of I like to put my elbows on the uh, the desk here, so no, not really necessary or worthwhile information even, but it helps you understand a little bit more of the strange environment I find myself in when I'm <laughs> recording videos sometimes, and maybe that, maybe that helps you understand me a little better. But we'll go ahead and put a couple more of these houses here, and then I think we'll do a time-lapse of this section of the map. These are going to be smaller, but I think it's going to be good. Make this a little bit more of a dense area here. Then one more. And I think, I think that's going to do that. So this is going to be a nice big area of 10 houses. The next ones are going to be here and here, and then that thing, and then we have this huge block. So we'll occupy ourselves for just a little bit before we get to that part. And I think I know just the way to do it. So let's go ahead and put down some more of these uh, grave plots here, shall we? I always keep creeping backwards when I make these things. I guess I just need to uh, offset more than I did because it's not uh, not really working. And that is all the ones we needed. We are going to do a couple more. You can never really predict the rate at which people die in this game, but you can try to get ahead of it a little bit. Come on. There we go. That'll be fine for now. And do you have any... No, you don't. Do not have any alcohol for us, but we can sell oil and clothing... Oh, I wish you had alcohol we could buy. I do have money to call other messengers. I just don't remember off the top of my head which ones offer alcohol. So we got these guys are here. We've got, uh, I guess, probably. We haven't been using our river trade very much. So let's uh, send those guys and those guys some messengers, see if they've got anything for us. Somebody made a comment in the last video. Why don't you use your river trade? Well, I just never really think about it. I think that's what I implied in the comment. I, I even built the second one. I think I said this too, that uh, I thought the game was glitching. So I built the second one, then turns out it wasn't. 
So I didn't really need to. Okay, they've got mead. We need to buy a bunch of mead. We can sell some sunflower oil. I don't have any of this. I guess we're going to be exporting our warm clothes and our regular clothes, huh? Uh, I don't I don't know that I really have enough to export, export. I forget what I have stocked at this trading post. It's probably not much. Oh, okay. That's um, basically nothing. Well, we'll sell the flower anyway. Because we already had it. Just keep buying mead every time it comes back up. And these people are selling that. So we'll buy that. And of that, we'll buy a bunch more lime. We're actually doing okay. So that's worth noting. Why do we have a shortage of that? Where's our thatchery? Is it right here? Okay, we've got, got women working. I guess this will go ahead and hire four just so we don't have any more unplanned interruptions. I think we're doing okay on everything else. Okay, those are actually done, so we'll go ahead and allow chopping on this section. Man, these people... Come, now everybody wants to come in. As soon as I send messengers to somebody else, we'll just buy more chickens so they can slaughter those. Um, sell those. Salt we can always sell. I should be stocking flax for export, honestly, with how much I have. Why don't we do that? Do I have space? I might not have space. Okay, I do. Flax. We'll stock. See, stock 2,000 flax. Because I think they wanted to buy. Yeah, they wanted to buy 2,000. So that works out well. They're 19 days distance. So as soon as I see some come in here, I will go ahead and issue the sell order for them to send their guys down here. They don't let me down now. I guess I just assumed it would be relatively quick. We are almost to uh, watching these guys go, and that will be the part where we uh, just time lapse and then end today's episode. But let's. Uh, why are they not building this last house? What are they waiting on? Okay, that's that one over there. So that's actually fine. Okay, now we have our flax. Let's go ahead and sell it. We're going to have to uh, try to get more meat and Hurlka in here for the next time we'll come in here to uh, buy stuff at the tavern. All right. Oh, they got bees. Very good. All right, they're building a the gazebo here. I think that should be starting relatively soon. Why is he just... Okay, there he goes. Hopefully they can get this built sooner rather than later because I think it's probably going to take almost a full in-game year to build all 10 of these houses. We'll see how quickly they can go. I say as they sit here not building this thing at all. They haven't started this one yet though, so that's fine. I think all our builder guys are just tired. They do seem to lose effectiveness after a uh, certain amount of time. But there goes that gazebo. Bang. Alright, so now I'm just going to time lapse this entire quadrant just kind of right here. So sit back and enjoy. We'll see you at the end. Okay, and that's that. All these houses built, and it was a little quicker than I thought, too. 
it's not even November yet. So we've got, let's see, we've got 10 here, got eight, you've got 18 new houses over here. In today's episode, you've got, I don't know, three or four, five, six, seven, maybe somewhere around 25 new houses. Today's episode, we got 2,156 people in the town. Stuff's looking pretty good. And we're out of burial plots again, but yeah, you know, it was always going to happen. And the trees are growing. I love this uh, orange. Uh, I think for the orchard trees, it's more of a glitch with the graphics and anything else. The game gets kind of angry, I guess, when you have too much stuff. Let's go ahead and find a good, uh, good spot for a thumbnail. So these guys don't have anything growing in their their yards yet, so maybe not over here. But I do like, I do like this kind of a look right here with all the leading lines and everything. I just, I wish this flat right here lined up with this diagonal here. Or maybe, uh, maybe some other time I'll be able to, uh, you know, get stuff figured out a little better. Just line this up like so. I think that's quite nice. We'll do that. And that's going to do it for today's episode. Lots of stuff done, lots of stuff left to get done, but I'm liking our chances uh, if the game continues to cooperate of possibly getting to 3,000 people. We'll see. It's going to be uh, gonna be quite a lot, and we're going to have to figure out some more logistical challenges, but I'm in it for the long haul until uh, Alpha 5 comes out at least, then we're definitely starting over with that in a brand new series. But yeah, that's uh, that's all we got for today. Uh, I would be remiss if I did not plug my Twitch over at uh, twitch.tv slash jcthebeard, hoping to do at least a stream per week or stream every other week, just chilling out, hanging, having a good time, playing some stuff that's not Ostrov, not City Builders. So if you feel so inclined, give me a follow over there. We'll have a uh, good time just hanging out. And if not, I'm glad to have you here on YouTube, and I'm thankful that you watch my videos and interact with some fun comments. Love talking to you guys. So if you have anything to say or have any thoughts or just want to talk about the game or anything just drop a comment i respond to as many as i can and i do read all of them so would love to talk to you there aside from that that is genuinely all i've got time for today so i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and we'll see you back in the next episode Bye bye